Guys, the Christmas event for Murder Mystery 2 just dropped, and I'm happy to announce that we are back at it with our Christmas giveaway. I'm going to be giving away 1,000 free knives to you guys, including you watching this video right now. You can get some free knives in Murder Mystery 2. So if you guys want some free knives in this game, all you have to do is hit that subscribe button and tune into some live streams because we're going to be doing a lot of live streams for this event and those live streams will tell you all you need to know to get some free knives in murder mystery 2 so yeah guys i'm gonna be giving away a thousand free knives tune into those live streams and i'll see you guys there but in the meantime enjoy today's video how is it going database is no data here and welcome back to another exciting episode of roblox murder mystery 2 and as you can see guys the christmas event for murder mystery 2 is here it literally just dropped and you can see we have a beautiful lobby right here the whole lobby is covered in snow we have some ice we have some elves ice skating we literally have an entire toy factory in this lobby i'm pretty sure if you go into the map voting we literally just have an entire assembly line look at this dude we got the elves making toys there's a dart bringer i wanted that dart bringer well i already have a dart bringer so i don't need it but still anyway yeah guys the christmas event just dropped it came out today and it is absolutely absolutely insane the christmas maps have returned and we have some limited time christmas knives for this event so like always i'm gonna quickly go through everything that is in this event if you guys are hyped for this christmas event then be sure to drop a like on this video it helps out a whole lot and if you're new be sure to subscribe for more mm2 videos in the future and if you really want to support me you can use star code purple when buying robux and roblox premium it really helps me out to continue making these videos for you guys so first of all we have some returning maps in murder mystery 2 we seem to have the returning christmas map so i imagine we have the workshop map the cabin as well as the train station i'm not sure if there's any new maps i haven't checked that yet to be honest i'm gonna have to look into that maybe there's a new map but uh we have the old maps and for the first time in this event i can transform into elf data there we go i am once again elf data I, that's what i love about this map is you can turn into an elf so I am once again elf data. But yeah, guys, like always, you can see that throughout the map, we have some snow tokens and we can use these snow tokens to get some prizes for this event. Oh, okay. There it is. There is the new Christmas map, the ice castle. This is brand new for this year. Like I said, the old ones are probably back as well, but here is the ice castle. Let's take a look at this. Let's see what it's like. And here it is. Really reminds me of knife ability test. I feel like there's a map that's somewhat similar to this, but yeah, it's literally just a castle made of ice. And then we have like an entire tombstone in here. That's super cool. If you go in the well, I wonder if there's any new game modes. I remember in the Halloween event, we got infection mode. So it'd be really cool if we got a bonus round back. Because honestly, getting a bonus round in Murder Mystery 2 was like one of the coolest things ever. So like getting one for Christmas, that'd be sick. Anyway, new maps. Check them out if you get the chance. But you guys are not here for the maps. You guys are here for the new knives. So let's go ahead and see what we have for the new knives. And it is pretty standard to what we have seen before. We have a battle pass right here with a bunch of new prizes. So you can go ahead and go through the battle pass, buy them with snow tokens. If you make it to the end of the battle pass, you can get a brand new limited time godly. There doesn't seem to be teams like the Halloween event, but you know, it is still a pretty standard battle pass. We get a mystery box as well. So, you know, we have a box right here. There's probably a godly in this box maybe even a chroma i'm not sure yet but uh i don't even have the chroma elderwood blade yet from the halloween event so maybe we should slow down on these chromas dude the gifting center has returned once again so you can give people presents if you give out 100 presents you will get a brand new godly gun right here you can also see that there is a leaderboard once again we have two leaderboards we have one for tokens and one for presents so if you get on these leaderboards you will probably get some super rare trophies so keep that in mind so during the halloween event i went on a whole spiel about evo knives and how we haven't gotten an evo knife in a long time and we will probably never get an evo knife ever again they just weren't profitable they weren't super popular and uh well we have an evo knife <laughs> 
we officially have an evo knife for the christmas events as you can see right here you can buy the ice crusher evo for 1700 robux this is somewhat new for the christmas event because we never had it for the christmas event but uh you know we have had it in a previous halloween event but essentially how it works is you buy this knife with robux and it starts off as a rare but as you gain xp with this knife equipped it will eventually evolve into a legendary and then a godly and eventually it can become an ancient so yeah we'll definitely be buying this in a future episode oh and here is eyes of oblivion giving me a bunch of free knives Oh my goodness, you thank you, eyes. You are you are insane. But anyway, yeah, guys, for this video, like always, I'm going to start off with the battle pass. So once again, you can spend some snow tokens to get through this battle pass. And I'm gonna go ahead and buy all of the tiers for you guys. So let's go ahead and do that. There we go, pass complete. And in this video, we're just gonna go through this entire battle pass and all it has to offer. All right, and let's go ahead and get started with the battle pass, starting with tier one. Now, like always, tier one is actually free. I already bought everything, but tier one is free and it's an effect. So you can go ahead and hop into Murder Mystery 2 and grab this effect for absolutely free. You don't even really need to do anything. And for tier one, you get the stickers effect. So that looks really cool. As always, keep in mind, guys, effects are not tradable. So you're gonna wanna get this effect before it is gone forever. But here it is on my night right here and yes the stickers effect you can see some stickers of some peppermints and some ornaments appearing and disappearing around the knife pretty standard effect probably doesn't have a kill effect either but again this is absolutely free so i mean for a free effect i'd say it's pretty good here's how it looks on the default knife in case you wanted to know moving on to tier two we get a common gun called coal again pretty standard i think we have a lot of coal guns at this point yeah, we have so many to be honest, but uh, here is the one for this year. We got the coal gun and honestly, it looks pretty detailed. I like it. Obviously, it is a gun completely made of coal. Not too much else to say about it. It's just a black gun made of coal, but compared to other coal guns, I'd say this one's probably one of the best. Again, not much to compare. They're all pretty basic guns, but I feel like this one just has a bit more detail to it. All right. And for tier three, we get a snow key. Now, in case you guys did not know what you can do with a snow key, is you can actually use it to open up the christmas box right here instead of snow tokens you can use a snow key from a battle pass and you basically get a free box once again there is a godly in this box it's a very low chance but you can get a godly so just look quickly show the godly i think eyes has it in their inventory so i'll quickly like show what it looks like it is the cookie cane right here pretty decent godly knife not sure if there's a chroma yet we'll have to confirm that at some point now obviously we're going to do a completely separate separate unboxing video but just for the fun of it we'll go ahead and use the snow keys that we get just to open up a few boxes so let's see what we get for our first box we're getting a gingerbread rare okay that's actually pretty good for our first box that's a 10 percent chance if i'm not mistaken so that's pretty good but let's go ahead and move on to tier four we get a common knife called candied and yeah it is basically a knife with a candy cane pattern on it right here again pretty standard but at the same time i feel like this looks really detailed for a common knife i mean the shading on it is just really realistic i like the bronze on it i like the handle of the knife overall this knife honestly looks really cool tier five once again we get another snow key so you guys know the drill we're gonna go ahead and open up up another box we're passing a lot of legendaries dang dude but we are getting a stickers gun okay we're getting a common that makes sense i mean you're most likely to get a common than anything tier six we get a common gun called snowman you can see that the gun is mostly just snow but you can see that there are some snowmen on the handle of the gun as well as at the very end of the barrel right here you can see another snowman face not too much else to say about it it's another common but again for a common i'd say it's pretty good for tier seven we get an effect called chili i believe this is an effect yep here it is right here you can see that it's basically some snow appearing and disappearing around the knife you can see some snowflakes and you can also see some white clouds around the knife so yeah it's basically a knife that was cryogenically frozen i guess i don't know tier eight we get another common knife called stickers there it is right there we've been getting 
quite a few stickers knives in the most recent events. I believe this was the stickers knife from last year, but here's the stickers knife this year. You can see that it is basically a default knife with a slightly different colored handle, but you can see that the knife has the ornament sticker, a Christmas tree sticker, and a peppermint sticker. Tier 9 is yet another snow key, so let's go ahead and open up a box and see what we get this time around. We are going to get the coal knife. Okay, yet another common that I do not have. So that is nice. And with tier 10, we are officially halfway through the battle pass and we are starting to get some uncommons. So here for tier 10, we have an uncommon knife called stockings and there it is right there that honestly looks really nice you can see that it is a nice comfortable red knife with some stocking stickers on it just the red and black radiance of the knife sort of gives it that christmas feeling tier 11 we get another uncommon gun called the mistletoe and there it is you can see that it is a green gun with some mistletoes on it i really like the green color on it it really makes it look like christmas very nice uncommon gun tier 12 we get another snow key and that means another case opening let's go ahead and see what we get we are going to get a snowman okay you know i'm fine with getting commons i'm just glad that they are commons that i don't have if i got you know a duplicate common i'd be a little bit upset but let's be honest it's probably gonna happen at some point how many keys do we have left in this battle pass I think we have one okay anyway tier 13 another uncommon knife called the snowflake you can see that it is a knife with some snowflakes on it there it is right there the background sort of makes it look like a dark christmas night and you know it's snowing very nice uncommon overall tier 14 we get yet another effect called minty and with this effect you can see some red and white clouds around the knife as well as some red dots appearing and disappearing once again i doubt there's a kill effect but still a really cool effect nonetheless this will definitely go really well with any knife that is candy cane related definitely the candy effect look at that that is such a good effect for the candy knife and of course other knives like peppermint and maybe eternal cane maybe even something like swirly blade would look pretty good with this effect moving on to tier 15 we are starting to get some rares and we have the gingerbread rare gun now in the box i believe we got the gingerbread rare knife so i mean screw it i'll go ahead and equip that as well and yeah there's a the gun right there you can see it is a gun completely made out of gingerbread we have some icing and some gum drops on it as well and like i said i unboxed the knife as well so here is the knife as well to complement it once again it's a knife made out of gingerbread with some gum drops on it and whatnot tier 16 we get a snow key it's our final snow key for this video and our final case for this video but again i'll I'll do an unboxing video later down the line and it is the candied gun all right another new common that is awesome i mean obviously the cases i got were mostly commons but they were all new so i'm pretty happy about that no dupes i'll take that tier 17 we get another rare called tree and there it is right there obviously this knife is supposed to look like a christmas tree it is completely green you can see that the handle is wooden sort of like the bark of a tree we've got some ornaments on the knife as you can see right here so it looks really Really nice it really reminds you of a christmas tree tier 18 we get another new knife effect called arctic as you can see we have some blue clouds around the knife with this effect this is a pretty decent effect that can go with any ice themed knife icebreaker is probably a good choice frost saber frostbite ice dragon pretty much anything that is related to ice is gonna go really well with this effect and of course for tier 19 we get a legendary gun and it is the arctic gun look at that right there that is awesome and there is the gun right there you can see that it is black with some blue on it it sort of looks like the knife is made of rock but there's some cracks in the rock and instead of magma there's like some ice revealed which is kind of interesting i don't know that's sort of just the vibe i get from this legendary gun overall really cool i'd imagine there's a legendary knife in the box also named arctic there it is so if you unbox that you'll sort of get a set but yeah guys we have completed pretty much every single tier but like always we have a final tier 20 and you can see that this gun looks really cool and it is a godly believe it or not so let's go ahead and click view and let's enter this final tier and let's see what we get and as always we have saint nicholas right here wow you've completed my christmas challenges well the only thing that's left is 
just a few more tokens 75,000 to be specific what do you say and yeah guys in order to unlock the final prize you need 75,000 snow tokens which is definitely expensive you're gonna have to grind a lot for this but keep in mind this is a godly so it's not gonna be easy to get and you can see that it is a really cool crossbow so guys without further ado let's go ahead and buy this gun three two one and boom there we go guys we got the ice piercer godly there it is that looks incredible wow you've been very nice this year take my crossbow you definitely deserve it happy holidays and there it is guys the ice piercer and there it is on my side let's go ahead and try this thing out probably gonna have to go to a vip server to try it out i'll be real with you guys all right guys and here it is the ice piercer godly gun that you can get by completing this battle pass and as you can see it is yet another crossbow you guys might remember that a few halloween events back we got the harvester ancient gun and it was a crossbow and that is one of the most popular godly slash ancients in murder mystery to. people absolutely love that gun because of how unique it was being a crossbow and well we have yet another crossbow in murder mystery 2 so here it is right here so if we shoot it it does actually have its own trail guys so that was something that the harvester had it was its own green trail now i don't have my roblox sound on but i would imagine that the ice piercer does have its own sound when you shoot it because as you guys know the harvester from the halloween event did have its own sound effect when you shot the crossbow so i would imagine that this gun also has that if it has its own trail i would imagine that it has its own sound effect or at least the same sound effect that the harvester does so yeah right off the bat this is a pretty unique gun at least compared to all the other guns in the game i mean this is basically the same as the harvester but even so it is still a pretty unique gun and yeah in terms of design you can see that it is a crossbow completely made of ice you can see that there is a bunch of ice around the crossbow there's some ice on the handle there's some ice on the sides you can see that the strings are completely made of ice i'm not sure how that works but you can see that the strings are made of ice and of course the arrow itself is made of ice you can see that anything that is not ice basically has a dark bluish dark purplish color to it you see that the handle is completely purple as well and yeah once again this is a super unique gun it has its own trail it probably has its own sound effect so overall i'd say this is a gun that is highly requested i think after the harvester came out i think people really wanted something similar and well that's exactly what we got i'd say my only criticism with this gun and this is very nitpicky mind you i'd say the only thing that really baffles me is the fact that it's a godly as you guys know typically for these events the end of the battle pass will give you an ancient but this time around instead of an ancient is just a godly which is a tier lower in retrospect it doesn't really matter if it's a godly or an ancient it's probably still gonna have the same value more or less it's not really gonna affect the knife all that much but it just sort of makes you wonder why is it a godly and not an ancient when it's been an ancient for years as you guys know during the halloween event this year the battle pass prizes at the very end were godlies but I feel like, you know, it was sort of an exception because there were two separate battle passes for each team. And obviously, you know, they got different godlies at the end. So it sort of made sense that there were godlies and not ancients. But obviously, this Christmas event is pretty similar to, you know, normal MM2 events. So why is this a godly and not an ancient? I'm not sure. Maybe it's supposed to sort of promote the Evo knife this year. Because, well, this Ice Crusher Evo is the only ancient in the event at the moment so maybe they made the ice piercer a godly in order to encourage people to get the only ancient in this event that's my explanation to it but still like i said it doesn't really matter this gun is still super cool whether it's a godly or an ancient it's still really super cool anyway yeah super cool crossbow and like i said guys it's limited time for christmas so you're gonna want to get your hands on this gun before it is gone forever and yeah guys that is pretty much it for this video we went through the entire battle pass we have claimed everything but guys even though we completed the battle pass there is a lot more to this christmas event and in the next episode 
we are going to do the Christmas unboxing and hopefully we will get the golly in this box. Again, I'm not sure if there's a chroma yet. We'll just have to see what happens. But in the meantime, guys, remember that I am giving away 1,000 free knives to you guys. So tune into those live streams because we are definitely going to be giving away a lot of knives this Christmas. You guys are going to love it. It's going to be awesome. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Roblox Murder Mystery 2. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and all those other things that YouTube people do. And I will see you guys in the next video. Stay purple.